Hi, so I want to show you some progress in my latest setup here. So what I've got here is I've got a pulley system going between two LG washing machine motors. It's a four to one. So for every one turn here, you get four turns over there. I've got uh, 60 volts over there. Uh, here I've got the output from the generating side going into some rectifiers, going into this board over here, and this board just, I'm playing around with this, just charging some batteries here. This is a 12 volt uh, charging system. I'm using 12 volt because 12 volt currently is coming out of here. I've got a meter connected over here, so you can see directly AC value um, coming from here. So let's switch the machine on. All right, so here I've got 63 volts. It's not drawing any amps. Um, I'm gonna ramp up the speed. Let's see what happens. Run about, it's a bit less than this. Uh, run about, there, there, at four point something, I found a good spot. Uh, you can see if I up the speed, the voltage go up obviously, because the frequency goes up. But run right about there, um, I'm like happy to leave the system at, okay. Um, that's what I'm consuming at the moment. It's a little bit higher than than uh, uh, earlier, but anyway, here's the system running. It's charging some some there. It manages the charge, and there's about two point something amps running into here. Um, I've got an idea to put some more on and charge more batteries over there. We'll see if I can use a different system. But yeah, this is. This is it. I can go down on that. Uh, it's showing a little bit of a lower voltage because it's drawing some amps there now. So the voltage drop here. So around about there should be good. Coming down to 5.2, 5.3 amps. You can see the 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 battery is draining definitely. You know. Uh, very slowly. It's, it's not a it's not a fast drain and remember I am charging so the lower that goes the more this board starts uh, charging actually I put it when it's 12 it's gonna it's gonna up the charge uh, to more amps and it will charge that a bit more hopefully I can I can have enough amps here I've got about 23 amps on here so hopefully I can I can charge the batteries and I can have some extra power. Um, I can show you guys quickly uh, something uh, re uh, how much torque is in the system. So to turn pulleys over there, four to one, and then also uh, I'm going to make a dead short over here. And as you know from any system. Here it go up dramatically. I just don't want it short at this side. So you can see this obviously going up. The race is going up. The amps usage are coming down. Would be nice to kind of have a system where you you immediately down the the, the speed over here. That's the idea. Uh, but I mean, you can see now what what I'm using over here. 2.6 amps so it's very little but I'm going to be very naughty now dead short the system 23 amps are going to come through here and you'll see this have enough torque to actually carry it just watch this I'm shorting over here and this bad boy 
has uh, enough torque to go through a 23 amp short which uh, for me it's a big win um, it shows that I can I can produce some good electricity here uh, imagine two of these running on the shaft one on one on this side one on this side then I've got 46 amps to charge batteries with um, and to have some extra to feed some system so that would be kind of my next uh, my next aim thanks for watching and, and do subscribe it makes a difference um, and I hope you I hope you enjoyed it if you post some comments I'll try my best to get back to you I normally do so uh, yeah for all the LG washing machine motor enthusiasts out there you can keep going it, it's worth it have a good one